These Sonic techs are game breaking and should get fixed immediately. This first deck isn't as game breaking as the second one I'll show, but anyways, start with M1s, then use front dash, jump in one. After that, side dash the opponent and M1. Them. There you go. There's a free re LMB. Here's a damage comparison with similar combos. With one combo, I'll use the tech, and with the other one, I won't. Yeah, there's a bonus 9% damage you can add to pretty much any combo. And now this next tech, well, this next tech has got to go. It allows you to get a free 18% damage while also ragdolling your opponent, allowing you to follow up with whatever you want. And to use this tech, all you have to do is use scatter and spam roll and kick. Even if they're blocking, roll and kick will still land as scatter gives enough stun to confirm kick. Here's a demonstration of a follow up combo you can do after using 3 into 2. You can get an insane 52% damage for pretty much free. And yeah, I know I've already shown these techs off in a previous video, but I like to get more exposure in these techs so that way they can be patched because they are actually game breaking. That's it though. See ya. Oh yeah, one more thing. That Saitama tech that I showed off doesn't work anymore. It was patched. They added in like to normal punch even if you've landed it. So there isn't enough stun to true combo front dash on normal punch anymore. Anymore. There used to be no in-lag on normal punch if you landed it, but obviously that was changed. Here's proof that it was in there. I know it's not optimal, but it's the only pre-nerf footage I have of this tech. As you were able to see, I side-dashed right away, showing there was no in-lag if you landed normal punch. Alright, for real now. See ya.